It's a beautiful, almost spring day. It's the end of February. I would say it's about 12 degrees Celsius, which I think it's about 55 Fahrenheit. Absolutely lovely. The flowers are blooming, and I thought it was the perfect day to clean out the greenhouse. Now, you'll know that from last year, we moved into this new house. It came with the greenhouse. I gave it a good clean then, but it wasn't a deep clean. So there was algae in between the glass panes still. And in effect, I really just wanted to be able to move my plants in for the winter. And I wasn't thinking about seed sowing or super hygienic conditions, but now I am. And I wanna get this up to scratch for sowing this year's young plants and seeds. Over the winter, there's been a lot of dirt and muck and algae and moss that has creeped in. Also slugs, there weren't any slugs in there initially, it was bone dry. They've all moved in, so I need to move them out. And I want to clean the greenhouse in an organic way, um, low impact, nothing too harsh. I also found a really easy trick for cleaning in between the panes of glass that does work, I've tested it. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a type of product to the glass. And it's this stuff here. And I spotted it actually over on Tony UK Here We Grow's channel. And it's perfect for glass. I have to be a little bit careful with this stuff around the metal bits, but once it's applied, it will help to keep any algae and moss and other green matter from growing on the glass for not only weeks, but months. I've got my cup of tea, so I'm just gonna have a, a little sit here, enjoy this, and then get to work because there is a lot of stuff that needs to be cleaned out here. Let's have a walk through the greenhouse just to see what needs to be cleaned. And there's a lot. Let's start from the bottom and work our way up. So first of all, there's lots of leaves, whether they are fresh from just a few minutes ago or dried from the winter. Also lots of algae all over this floor and moss as well. There's loads of moss. It is pretty messy and that needs to all come up. Over the winter, I've had my pots overwintering in here, mainly in this trough, which will house tomatoes this summer, but because of that extra moisture, it has created quite the habitat for even more algae and moss, and there's plenty of dirt and grime that needs cleaning up as well. As far as this trough is concerned, I am probably going to move it from this side over here. This potting bench is going to stay in here. I'm going to give it a good paint job, I think. It deserves it. Put it in the back there, and then here in the front, I'll either build another one of these, a smaller one, or just use buckets to grow eggplant, so aubergine, and tomatoes, and a cucumber in. I'm growing a type of indoor cucumber called Deli Star this year. And so we're gonna have a pretty crammed greenhouse with all of those plants. Okay, so working our way up, you can see that the glass has lots of algae growing on it. And one major problem is all of this gunk in between the glass panes. And I couldn't quite figure out the best solution for cleaning it, and you can see it's Everywhere where there's a seam, there is gunk and goo, and it's just going to use that as a place to colonize the rest of my greenhouse later. So I actually found a really clever tip online. So you can see here, look at this. So all I've used to clear that is just an old plant label and stuck it between the panes. And you've got to wiggle it in and then wiggle it back and forth. This is one-handed, by the way. And then you can pull it back out. And the clips will move around as well so that you can get in and get it all cleaned. 
So this is going to be one of the first jobs that I do after sweeping up most of the mess and get all of that gunk cleared out. Then in the corners and all the nooks and crannies of the greenhouse, there's plenty of moss and it needs to go as well. So any place that's slightly protected from sun and moist, there's usually some moss in there. So let's pull, so you can see here. Now, getting up a little bit higher, the glass needs cleaning, obviously, just to brighten it up. Look at that. That is all algae. It's pretty manky, isn't it? So this is going to be a job for the plant label and plenty of scrubbing. And that's on both sides. You can see it over here as well. I love these little hunters. I have no idea if they still make them, but I would highly recommend them. About halfway through cleaning the inside of the greenhouse, and my goodness, just that bit of scrubbing has made so much of a difference, and I haven't even started scrubbing the outside yet. There's no water outlet for my greenhouse, so it's all collecting down here. It's just um, Ecover washing up liquid or dishwashing liquid, whatever you want to call it. And you know, it's doing the job. Ooh, after quite a lot of scrubbing, spraying and bailing out of water, the floor is fairly clean. There's still some patches of where there was some moss growing, this darker stuff, but for the most part I've got the moss up and whatever is left there hopefully it will come up and disappear with the algon being sprayed on it so i've got to let this all dry out now and i can't move my plants in just yet so i think i'm gonna just cover them out here in the garden and just leave them overnight and then once I, once I get everything, oh, it's fluffy. <laughs> this cat belongs to someone, I have no idea who, but it's decided that it wants to live with us and it's always here. Aren't you fluffy? <laughs> it's now been a day after I cleaned the greenhouse. It's sparkling clean. And so now what I need to do is spray it with the algin, and I've never used it before, but I've heard really good things about it. And the idea with that is that it will stop that slimy green algae and moss from regrowing, at least temporarily. And today is the perfect kind of day to be putting it on because it does need to dry afterwards. It's long lasting, so it'll stay on the glass or whatever surface for a while, but it needs to dry first. The plan is to carefully spray it on, trying to avoid any of the metal bits. I also have a rag afterwards, so what I'm going to do is wipe the metal surfaces down after I've sprayed them just to make sure that any kind of little dribbles that I might have gotten onto the metal um, get cleaned off. And I'm not quite sure what will happen to the metal if this stuff gets on it, but I don't really want to find out. So I'm going to try to be as careful as possible. It's taken me 
pretty much the equivalent of an entire afternoon to clean out the greenhouse. So it was about three and a half hours the first day, so yesterday, and then another couple of hours today just tidying and spraying and disinfecting it and getting it ready for spring. But with luck, my metal greenhouse will not disintegrate <laughs> with this application and it will be nice and clean for me to start moving in some new seedlings and start sowing seeds in there at the end of next month. If you are also cleaning out your greenhouse about this time, let me know how you're doing it, what products you're using, if you're just using soap and water, or if there's something special, and any tips you think that people would really benefit from. Leave it as a comment down below. And let me know if you liked this video as well. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm going to be back again on Sunday with another new video and this is going to be a continuation of the sowing seeds or sowing tomatoes from seed series. So we're going to follow that up with pricking out the seedlings and they are raring to go. They've really come on underneath the grow lights. I'm going to show you my grow light setup and take you through the next steps of growing tomatoes. So I'll catch you then. Thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you soon. Bye for now.